Vertical lookup function. This is one of my favorite functions that uh, I use uh, constantly and it will save you a lot of time. Okay. Uh, so what this formula uh, is all about. So it searches a value in the first column of a range and returns a corresponding value in the same row from a specific column. So if you have teams in a table and they have all, some kind of stats, then uh, you will create, for example, a drop down menu in another cell and then you will select the teams and the formula, the function will give you correct number, correct stats. Okay. Uh, based on the team you select. Okay. Uh, for example, suppose you have a table that lists the points per game for each team and you want to look up the points per game for Los Angeles. You could use the vertical lookup function as follows. So uh, we will see in this example, Los Angeles is the search key. Okay. And this is the range uh, of cells that contains the names and points, for example. And the second is the column because uh, you will have different stats points, assists, blocks, steals, or whatever. And the first, the first column is always the, the names or the teams. This is what you're looking for. And this, the second is, for example, four points for assist. And then you select the number, which column, okay? Uh, and, and false, this is also important, indicates that the range is not sorted. The function will search the first column of the range uh, for the value of Los Angeles and return the value from the second column because we we give them this uh, direction. We are looking for the second column. That is on the same row as the matching value, okay? Uh, so if you have the table and if you have in a vertical position, the teams, then you will use vertical lookup function. Sometimes you will have a table and you will have horizontal teams. So you will have Los Angeles Lakers, Utah Jazz, uh, I don't know, uh, but most of the time we have vertical, but maybe it can happen that you will have in a horizontal line and then you will use uh, horizontal lookup function. Okay. And this is, uh, the function, uh, uh, for, for this. Okay. And, and now we will jump to the spreadsheet and I will show you how to use this. So those are the, those, those are the, uh, uh, numbers and stats. I will delay this. Okay. I will delay this. We can also delete this. So we will have only, only the table. Uh, and every time uh, when I uh, calculate uh, medium averages or I do any calculations, I like to do above the table because if you use import HTML function, which will scrape the data from the internet. Okay. And okay. We have teams now. We know that we have only 30 teams in NBA, but for example, if you, if you will have players, okay. And uh, players at the start of the season, maybe there will be, I don't know, 500 players. But then with more and more players, uh, you will have more and more, you will have more and more uh, uh, field cells. You will have more and more information. And if you will have some formula here, then this table will not appear. Okay. This is why I like to have everything above the table, which is created with import HTML function. Okay. So I will insert a couple of, uh, 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 rows above. Okay. And let's say four more. Okay. And then I usually do calculation here. Okay. And everything that I need, I, I can do here because below that, uh, I give enough space for import HTML function to scrape the data from the internet. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we will use vertical lookup function. First, I will create the drop down menu one more time. This is something I already show you. Uh, so data, data validation, okay. Add rule. We already have the range. So we will create drop down menu here from those teams. Okay. I will select drop down from a range. Click here. I will select these teams because those are my options. Okay. I will click. Okay. I will click down and I will close. Okay. So I can now select the teams. Okay. But because when you will analyze games, you will select, for example, Denver Nuggets and they will play against, I don't know, New York Knicks. And then you want that these cells will change automatically, that this program will automatically put the numbers and stats and even calculations later when you will learn a little bit more. Uh, and you will have analysis here. So when you select another team, 
another and different stats will appear here okay and how you do this with vertical lookup function so we will look for this team okay this is the first first information that we're looking so everything from the lakers so all information from the lakers okay comma in this range because we need to select the range where we are looking for something okay another comma okay and then we have the first range is always this one so this is the first range second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven and so on okay and let's say that we are looking for points per game okay and so i need to i need to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three okay twenty three and false okay so i i see that i missed something so i will use 24 and this is correct uh when i uh use these ranges and if you have a lot of stats one trick you can use that uh, you put the numbers here so you don't count like i did okay as you see this is 24th number okay this is 24th number so if i i would do it i would do it from the start i i would i i don't need to count those numbers okay so uh then i also want to do this for new york knicks we can anchor this range because the range will stay the same right the range is the same okay we we selected the range okay and i will just drag down okay so let's check it if this is correct i will type points so los angeles lakers 117 points and new york knicks knicks 114.6 so this is correct, right? This is correct. I will just do it like this. And let's do for one more uh, stat. Let's say that we are looking for assist. Okay. Uh, we will use the same logic, vertical lookup function. Click on the team because this is what we are looking. Uh, the range is the same. The range is the same. Thirty-nine, uh, and this is assists are nineteen, and false, right? And as you see, Los Angeles Lakers, twenty-five point two assists. Okay, I we can also leave league average, so I will add it fourteen, so it is a little bit bigger range because we can also select league average, for example, right? Okay, so you can find we can also change this. We will click here. So you, how you can edit this, okay? Uh, first, I selected the range uh from only for the teams but we can also add league average okay so i will simply expand this range okay i will expand this range add i will click down and now we should have here uh league average okay league average is uh, 140.3 okay uh i will add dollars to anchor this what I like to do, I like to, so when you will create more and more uh, vertical loop functions uh, in the cells, you don't, you don't need to, uh, uh, you don't need to select the range all the time. What I do, I like to copy this formula. Okay. I, I copy this with command C. Okay. Or you can do, do like this, click here, click here, and then paste it here. Okay. You can also do with command or control, control C. Okay uh it is important that you copy this this formula not cell because if you copy cell you might get something else okay i always like to copy formula put in another cell here okay like this and then i change it okay so i simply need to change 
C3 to C4, okay? And everything else is the same, okay? So let's check uh, New York Knicks. Uh, assist, right? 22.4, okay? So this is how you use this uh, vertical lookup function. Sometimes you will have teams here in horizontal, okay? So I will, I will just show you with a couple of teams, okay? I will show you, oh, I will show you with all teams, okay? So I will copy this and I will transpose, okay? You will see, I will transpose this, okay? And I will get the teams in horizontal, horizontal line. And I will take the points, copy points. I will transpose here, okay? Okay, so we have horizontal. I will just add leak average here. Okay, and we will use the same logic. So uh, we will create a drop down menu. Data validation, add rule, okay? Uh, this is this range, apply to range to this range. Select drop down from a range. I will click here and I will select all those teams options, okay? Click OK, done. Okay, I will close this. Go back here and let's say Boston, Celtics, Oklahoma. Uh, but because we, ha we have no stats in horizontal line, we will need to use horizontal lookup function. Okay, we're looking for Boston Celtics, this range. Okay. Uh, this is the first row. We could have more rows, okay, but this is the second row right now and false, okay. Uh, Boston Celtics. As you see, it is correct. Okay, so uh, we could have more. So we could have uh, this is this is points. We could have assists and so on. We could have uh, more more uh, numbers, and then I would uh, uh, create uh, this um, uh, function to, with this. Okay, so if we would have I don't know the second would be assist. Okay, then we would type here because it would be first, second, third. Okay. Okay, I hope this makes sense.